So here we're going to plot a surface in MATLAB and uh, like the one you can see here it's set to the equal to x to the power of 3 plus y to the power of 2. So the first thing we're going to do in order to produce something like this is to define a grid in the xy plane and then we will calculate the set values for each grid so and then we can use this surf function so we're gonna start doing this i think with a smaller section of this uh, figure to make it more clear so we're going to use then the mesh grid we can use one to 5 in both x and y this is a very small radius very small number of points 25 uh, here we have much more and then if we want to have the we can type in the equation or i can copy it from below actually like that so then then we have our x y and set values for each and every for for those 25 grids so if you're gonna plot that using the surf function we just type x y z so if you do like this you can see it more easily that the x values you see they range from 1 to 5 and all of this is 1 right so the x value for all of this this and this and this they are all 1 and then there are 2 for the following 5 grids and the y points is similarly but in the other direction and for each and every of those grids we have then calculated the set values. And you have to pu you have to type a point if you're gonna here also remember that otherwise it could be wrong. So so that's how you plot the surface very easily in MATLAB. Okay go down here again and execute this part of the again so here I've basically done just the same thing and you can see that the X now is ranging from minus 5 to 5 again but it's a much smaller increment because I changed this to I controlled this here in between before we just typed we didn't type anything in between, so it's just one, two, three, four, five. But if you want to change the increment, we need we can do it like you see here. And uh, I also changed the edge color, and I had some uh, transparency here, alpha, to the surface, so it's you can see through it, kind of. So that's pretty cool, isn't it? And quite simple we have something else let's run that oh cool isn't it anyway thanks for watching and subscribe for more MATLAB videos you can also ask question in the comment section